Hey, my name is Tom and welcome back to another Christmassy low carbon lifestyle. Over the last 18 months, I've got into the detail of trying to optimize the efficiency of our heat pump. But one thing I found quite frustrating is not being able to compare settings from one day to the next. I might do something that makes my heat pump more efficient, but the outside air temperature drops by five degrees from one day to the next, meaning the heat pump has to work harder and therefore the efficiency is lost in the data. Or I might have made a mistake with the settings. I might have forced the heat pump to cycle or to work harder than it really needs to, but then the next day is a little bit warmer. So it looks like what I've done has improved the efficiency. Well, there is a way of comparing one day to the next or one week to another, one month to another or year on year. And it's a little tool called degree days. My name is Tom and this is a little series about a low carbon lifestyle. So what is a degree day? Well, it took me quite a while to get my head around them. I must admit I'm pretty slow. But now I'm there, I think they're actually quite the simple but powerful tool for analyzing heating. A heating degree day is given a base temperature that we're comparing against the length of time in days multiplied by the difference in temperature below that base. That was a bit of a convoluted way to say it. So let me show you with an example. Let's assume that we need heating below 15 degrees C. So that will be our base temperature. If the temperature is 12 degrees C for the whole day, that would have a degree day value of 15 minus 12 times by one of three. And if it was five degrees for half a day and 10 degrees for the rest of that day, that would have a value of 15 minus five times a half plus 15 minus 10 times a half, which would equal seven and a half degree days. You get the gist. The way I've been using degree days recently is to check on the un unseasonally mild autumn that we've just had, followed up actually by the unseasonally cold December that we've started to have this last couple of weeks. So let's start with the autumn. Compared to autumn 2021, at the weather station closest to me in 2022, there were 14% fewer degree days in October and 7.5% fewer in November. So if your bills were 14% less in October than last year and 7.5% less in November, this could explain why. And degree days help us prove that intu intuition that the autumn was milder. And what about the start of December? I reckon it's been unseasonally cold. But how does the start of December compare to last year or the year before? I don't really remember what the weather was like last December, but was it warmer or was it cooler or was it similar to this year? Well, in December 2020, the first 11 days of December had 125 degree days. In December 2021, the same length of time had 127 degree days. And this year, we've had 144 degree days for that first 11 days of December. That's 15% more than 2020 and 12% more than 2021. I was right. It's been so cold and it's been so cold that the last three days as I record this have had a number of degree days that suggest um, at, the at the weather location near me that it could have been below zero for the whole day. And that's pretty cold for the northeast in December. If you want to have a play where you live or get into the detail of how powerful degree days could be, there is loads of information on the website degreedays.net and you'll be able to download a set of degree days for up to 36 months for free. I'm fairly sure that I could use degree days in much more detail. And there are actually probably better ways to help analyze heat pump performance than, than relying on degree days. But they do give me a quick and simple and flexible way to, to compare performance as the year goes on, which is great. Why don't you have a little play with degree days? What would you use degree days for? Is this the geekiest video that I've done on this channel? Do let me know in the comments and do hit subscribe for more of this kind of geeky content. My name is Tom and this is a little series about a low carbon lifestyle.